What is up everyone? So, last video you guys saw, we tried to dyno tune our turbo converted SR20DE in the S14 Zilli, right? We went to go do a pull and the stock clutch failed like almost instantly. Yes, I know, we all saw it coming. I honestly forgot all about it. And well, we gotta get a new clutch in this thing ASAP. So today we're gonna start off with a field trip to try and piece it all together. You bozos ready? Oh yeah, Born are you ready? ready? Ready for what? First stop, Napa. Yeah, I... Napa. <laughs> Rear main seal, best five bucks ever spent. See that ant? Made in Japan. That's good. <laughs> All right, next out. Diagnose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the SR20 DE flywheel is actually smaller than the DET flywheel. And since we were buying a DET clutch, we need a DET flywheel. And supposedly our buddy Alex has one, but he can't find it. We're heading down to his house right now to help him find it. Uh, I really hope it's there. We gotta be careful too, because his neighbor has an infestation of rats. I found <laughs> out about this yesterday. Is that a fact? Yeah, it's a fact. You gotta take his whole deck out. What? Yep. Look at the seal of Oh, look at them next to each other. I love it. Oh, man. Dang, now you gotta wash your girl. Dude, the red and the white is so cool. Typical 240 uh, shed right over here. I got parts everywhere. Dag, now, where's this thing hiding, buddy? Here, Could be anywhere. On. Nothing is truly lost until your mom can't find it. Then it's yeah. lost. <laughs> BMX bike you rode 20 years ago. Every car guy. Never will drive it, get it again. It's not in there. We can check that off the list. Where did this thing go? Is that a pig nose lip? Hmm. Another pig nose lip? What the heck? Bag no, how much? No beans. No beans? You didn't find the goods? No, I saw two pig nose lips in there though. Oh, good luck. <laughs> this car is so beautiful. Look at the goodies right here. The rear window diffuser. Oh, DJ, are these real? Yeah. No way, can you even see it? So the whole quarter glass cover right here and it lights up. These things are so hard to get. What is that, like $1,400? Yeah, well, probably a little more than that now. Well, I haven't seen a set for sale yeah, in a long time. Yeah, you never time. even see them for sale. They make repops though. Can't do that. <laughs> All right, well, Ann and Alex are in the basement digging. Hope they find it. They're digging heavily in the basement. There's a lot of stuff down there. Oh, I can only imagine. Yeah. No beans? No beans. Tomatoes? Dang. Did you look? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think I've been? I don't know. Did you look? I looked. Should we go poke around Mike G's and see if he has one? Sounds like a good idea. Go screw with him. Tug poke around, see if he's there. I think it'd be worth it. All right, let's go see if Mike G's got one. All right. Just had a quick epiphany. We have a flywheel at the shop. And we did have a mint clutch. And an ant dropped it. Yeah, remember that? <laughs> That's Forget about that, but we got a flywheel <laughs> at the shop. How did we just realize it? <laughs> We're running around trying to find a flywheel. Back to the shop? Nah, let's go visit Mike G. Oh, Mike G, yes. Yeah. What are we talking about? I have been here in a long time. If you guys have been watching the channel for a very long time, you know this place very well. <laughs> Looks a little different. Looks yeah. pretty much the same. <laughs> he's fucking pissed. He's gonna knock someone out. Oh, this Move! Is he's gonna knock someone out. Oh! <laughs> he's here. Mike G, Mike G TV. Yeah, right. Say hello. Legit camera, what up? I'm all sweaty. I just got done cleaning the inside of that oh, thing. All There's sweaty. mud off. This is Mike's new Pagino. <laughs> Dude, this thing's sick. Take it for a rip. Take it for a rip. Come on, Donnie. Let's go for a rip. His phone's in it and stuff. Good. We'll make some phone calls. Here, hold my fucking red bull. <laughs> all right, give me the rundown on this thing. I get a, I see a boost gauge. That's a good first start. It's boosted. This is a K, this is not a K vehicle, right? Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, 660. 660. Four cylinder though. Four cylinder 660. Ooh. Turbo. All right. Well, let's see what she does. Yeah. All wheel drive. Um, four wheel drive. It's in yeah. two wheel right now though. All right, you take this thing. Oh. Damn. Oh my god. Oh my god, Mike. This thing's sick. It ripped for a K car. It's like, that stock boost too. Dude, look at the mirror. That's so cool. Yeah. No matter what way you set it, you can't look out of it though. 
Is it really that useless? Yeah, I've tried every 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 single way. Because you have that one. Yeah, I thought I thought maybe for like curbs, but you can't even see them with them. Put them down. Yeah, whatever. Give her hell. Not like that. Okay, okay, Aunt Cole. <laughs> I want one bad. Well, we all need K cars, so Aunt, I don't want to spoil his surprise, but Aunt bought a K car. He's gonna come in on the next ship. Yeah, I know, because I did I did it for him. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling the <laughs> I'm telling the viewers here. And then DJ of course has the wagon, so I gotta get a K car so we can all K out. DJ pulls on me very slightly. Which way? Go buy the turkeys and blow off. See if they'll talk. Gobble gobble. Oh no, 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 no! no, no, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 did it! <laughs> we got the gobble! I thought he was gonna plow that other turkey. <laughs> How are the brakes on this thing? Um, it, need, it needs new pads. <laughs> oh, look at it! Here, skid! Yeah, they're starting to get low, though. It does like over I'm not gonna lie, going 50 miles per hour on this thing is terrifying. It's not! I do 90 on the highway. You're a psychopath. That's because you're driving like it's a fucking in GTR. <laughs> Watch out, this dude's here. Calm down for the dude. Yeah. <laughs> Aunt Cole, did you teach Jimmy how to drive? Yeah. <laughs> fucking slamming gears like you. Oh yeah. This is sick. What K car do I get? The I think a Pajero. They they look like? nice. They're more modern. You're right. You know what I mean? The drivability is nice in it. Jimmy treating this thing like a GTR, he lost my cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> what even Xbox One back there? Is that a first gen Xbox? OG Xbox, you know how hard it was to find one? There's was one it? game I wanted to play. I had to find an original Xbox. It was very hard. <laughs> Chris, I found it. Jet Grind Radio. When are you going to tell him what you bought? Should we wait until we go pick um, it up at the port? It's not really a big surprise. Yeah, they'll see. I still you found it. Oh, I can see it's just as dark as it's always been in here. Oh, the lights aren't on. <laughs> it's usually how bright it is in here. <laughs> huh. Big bicycle guy now, huh? Yeah, buy and sell, you know. Bigger Doesn't than work? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, come here. I don't like this. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Anticipate. <laughs> well, always a pleasure. Let's get back to the shop and hope I actually do have this flywheel. Gotta do some digging. Should we race them? Yeah. Here. We should. There we go, there we go. There we don't Ready? got people behind Ready? us. A little more, a little more, a little more. I saw good. I think from a dig you would have them though. The Duramax ain't slow. Ant, you got a good SR there, buddy. Good tune in there. Good SR, Ant. You got a good tune on that car. <laughs> so we pull up to the shop and we see a surprise. Randy out in the Sylvia. If you guys didn't know, Drew actually bought an S14 Sylvia. What, has it been like a month now? Uh, a couple months. A couple months, and he registered it today, finally. <laughs> well, it's so weird to see it like out and about on the TEs. Dude, it looks so good on the TEs. I see on the TEs, you see it, boys. So, <laughs> Drew has an S14 Sylvia, which is so funny. So, now we all have Zankies, which is fantastic. So, I gotta get mine finished up so we can all go cruising, but... Wow, this looks really good, Drew. Oh my god. So, Drew's is a case, so it has a SR20 notch top in it already. Turbo engine, you know, five lug sunroof all that stuff so man this car looks awesome nav and skirts nav and rear spats dude it looks so good on the tees rinse her off real quick thanks for letting me use the hose dude i haven't seen it this has been buried in your shop like i know in the corner it took me like over an hour to get it out you had like 40 quads in front of it yeah it's, you know why it's here right well why is that i'm gonna plug into it right now you're gonna you're gonna tune it up yeah right now dude you it's so cool crispy crispy oh he's got the kooky tails on it I see you. These are actually the TEs that were on my S15 last summer. Definitely slept on getting rid of those. 
Oh wow, the engine bay looks. I don't remember it being this nice. Detailed it. Oh, did you really? Shout out to DJ's detailing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it looks beautiful, dude. Monkey <laughs> Cruise coming soon? No, mine's tucked for the winter. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's a it in pieces. So? I'm not driving it like that. Oh man. You guys will have a good time, man. Get out of here. Well, we're gonna have to race the Turbo SR20 versus the DE Plus T SR20. True. This versus that. This versus that. That needs to happen. Turn the boost up a little, we'll turn your boost up a little bit. Love to see it. All right, so I forgot that I got a clutch kit with this engine when I picked this thing up forever ago. It actually had a brand new kit on it and Ant dropped the clutch and shattered it in half. But I did find the flywheel, so I'm super happy. I wish I realized this forever ago, but look at the difference, right? You can't really tell on camera, but this is the DE, this is the DET. Now the ring gear for the starter is the same diameter, so we could use the same starter, but look at the clutch difference, right? So DE, DET. Look, it's about a half inch wider all around. So the DET has some more surface area for the clutch to grab onto, since obviously it's supposed to be rated for higher horsepower than the DE. And now it's time to grab the last piece of the puzzle. Can we talk about Derek's new winter daily? Winter daily? Yeah, that's what he bought it for. Oh my god. Look how beautiful this color is. Big Miata guy. Big Miata guy. What's up? Nothing, what's up? How are you? I'm chilling. How are Dude, you? Dude, the new winter daily? I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to live, you know what I mean? What's the name of that color? Oh, I can't even pronounce it. Yeah, it's some German. Yeah. Yeah. You just tell people it's the coolest blue and they're like, oh yeah, I know that blue. It's so true. If you're like, oh, you know that E36 blue, like that really cool one? Yeah. Everyone knows. Everyone knows. Yes, sir. Dang. Don't look at the rear. Think of it. The rear is four inches too high. So you can put the fat chicks in the back. Uh, oh yeah, it's for the fat chicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dang, Derek. Wow. You're kind of cool yeah. sometimes, doggy. Sometimes I just you know, I just do things, you know what I mean? We out here. We out here. Yeah, he's outside for sure. We just gotta handle that situation. You know anybody that sells nice wheels? I know a guy. All right. We'll leave Derek to tune in some Miatas, but Drew had an action clutch kit in stock. So he ordered it for his S13 a couple months ago. Has, ooh, this thing's heavy. Hasn't used it yet, so I'm gonna seal it and we're gonna reimburse when mine comes in. So shout out to Drew for helping us get this thing done this weekend. Action clutch. Yes, sir. Discount code Jimmy O for 10% all products. Bang that line. <laughs> SR20 Stage 3 Clutch Kit by Action. Let's check this thing out. Beautiful little six puck. We've talked about this before, how much we love the Action Clutch pieces. They are beautiful. Always done us very, very well down here, and we love to use them. So, we got the entire kit. Comes with some goodies. Lanyard stickers, gotta love that. Clutch alignment tool. Need that. We got the pressure plate with the action red beefy plate here. On top of that, we also get a new throw bearing for the trans. The pilot bearing, right here. And so like we said before, you guys know we have a discount code at Action Clutch, Jimmy O for 10% off all your Action Clutch products. So if you guys have been putting it off, here's your sign, go buy a damn clutch. <laughs> First, gotta get out the old pilot bushing. <laughs> Not drop this on my head. There we go. Shout out to Justin from Morfab for making me this slide hammer pilot bearing tool forever ago. It's still sorry. working wonders. It's done us very, very well. <laughs> there you go. So most of the time you're just getting a flush with the snout. I'm out of breath. What we did do off camera was we changed the uh, remain seal. Always we replace it. That. The most expensive remain seal I've ever seen is like 15 bucks. Unless you got like a Volkswagen, you're probably gonna pay a lot of money yeah. for one. But always replace it when it's off because if it leaks, Sucks. <laughs> and let's not forget this plate because we always do. Get this thing. Line her up. Don't let that fall, Tony. So we got our Aero P hardware for the flywheel right here. Comes with little instructions for everything you need to know. So we're supposed to be applying Loctite 242 on here, which is literally just blue Loctite. And then we're also gonna take their assembly lube. We're gonna put that on the head of the bolt where it contacts the flywheel because it's supposed to help relieve the friction when you're torquing it so you don't get improper torque numbers, right? And we are doing 70 foot pounds of torque. Boom. Nice. Clean your surfaces. Slip this thing in. Boom. Nice. Don't let that fall, Tony. Could be a real pain in the ass to line these dowel pins up sometimes because they're definitely made with a really tight tolerance. So, well, be patient. 
It's like when you're trying to plug in the iPhone charger in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Do a full rotation and you're like, this is where I started. That's what is about to happen. Torque this thing in a star pattern. Already did it off camera. And then, we are good to go. Now we gotta change out the throw up bearing. Take one of these, drop it in there, give it a good old one of those. Take the new one, and give her one of these. Boom. Whoever is metal on metal, put a little bit of grease, dab it up, put the clip on, boom. Since this will just literally be metal going back and forth on each other, you need the grease there to keep it well lubed up so it doesn't get all chafed up. Make sure the clip goes on the pivot ball. This pushes against the pressure plate right here and disengages the clutch, just like that. All right, let's get this in together. Let the fun begin. <laughs> All right, so the trans went in actually pretty damn smooth. They either slip in right away or you're fighting it the whole time. So uh, before we knew it, we kind of attached everything already. So we are ready to go down, put some fluid in it, and hope everything's great. <laughs> Give it that good stuff. You know. Yeah, if you don't know Nissan Trans, love Redline. Love it. How's that clutch feel? Pretty stiff. Yeah, they're usually pretty stiff. It's like short and stiff. <laughs> yeah, does that sound familiar? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> Start her up. We'll see if it makes any weird noises. I hope not. No battery. <laughs> Sounds good. No weird noises coming yet. Clutch is in. Not making any noise. Goes in the gear. So, no weird noises. Clutch is engaging nice and smooth. Can't really ask for much more, so. Uh, should we go break this clutch in a little bit or should we just throw it on the dyno? That's the big question. You should beat the shit out of it. Yeah, when have we ever broke a clutch? Sit in? here, tune it, I'll beat the shit out of it. I got 20 minutes to kill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so she is ready to go. We are ready to throw this thing back on the dyno, but I think today we're gonna end it, take it easy for us today. But before we go, I do have to redeem myself just a little bit. <laughs> Yo, I was not expecting that. Yeah, neither was I. <laughs>